talk about here's how hard it is for a superstar to come in to a dying brand that's public and kind of get her ass kicked every quarter. And then why don't people go public anymore? Because um, you get your ass kicked every I quarter. I think it's because you get your ass kicked every quarter. Uh, the only time I met um, uh, Mark Pincus was uh, he gave some talk. The whole talk was, it was 2008, 2009, I think. And his whole thing was, I, I've run a public company before. I hated it. I'm keeping Zynga private for forever because it's not an exit. It's an entrance. When you IPO, it's an entrance into like the pain in the ass, brutal cycle, the, the stuff you have to go through in the press and the managing these expectations and people who don't know what the hell you're doing, betting, you know, telling you how much you're worth, right? He hates that. And then like six months later, they announced they're going public and like, you know. We saw it didn't work out too well. It either. didn't work out. It, 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 it went right underwater. Right. In fact. So. So with tricky. Was it the Nasdaq? Nasdaq bought Second Market recently. They did. Yes. Um, is there going to be kind of an intermediate uh, marketplace for equity? Clearly, it already is happening in most mm -hmm. companies that there are secondaries. But at at scale, right? At scale is the big question. Because I mean, I will tell you, you know. Not that I have any uh, expectation of going public. I mean, that would be great. That would be a fantastic outcome. Yeah. But, um, man, I could not be less interested in the bullshit that's associated with running a public company. But first, I want to tell you about pager duty. Everybody knows being on call is brutal, especially Brian Alvey, because when we were doing Weblogs Inc. together with Ryan, he was the one on duty. You get constant alerts. You don't want to roll your own monitoring system, you want to use a professional system like PagerDuty. It aggregates all of your monitoring tools and increases reliability and uptime by providing clear visibility and accountability. They have beautiful iOS and Android apps that allow you to be on the go and receive alerts, and you're not going to lose your developers and sysadmins and sysops people because your on-duty pager duty moments are a disaster. No, you're going to have it nice and clean and buttoned up. It pays for itself by keeping your developers happy and reducing turnover. 100 pre-built integrations with partners like HipChat from Atlassian, eHarmony, Pinterest, New Relic, Airbnb, Nagio, Nagios? Nagios. 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 Slack, Path. Uh, hey, one of my companies, Chartbeat, uses it and they love it. Here's what Justin had to say. He's the senior operations engineer at Chartbeat, which is doing amazing. And that's a system that has to be online all the time. PagerDuty gives Chartbeat one central place to send critical alerts. We now have a simple, easy process for on-call scheduling. So here's your call to action, everybody. Sign up for a free 14-day trial at pagerduty.com slash twist and get a free T-shirt with your first alert. Yes, pagerduty.com slash twist. And thank you so much to our friends at PagerDuty for making a delightful product that we use, love, and for supporting independent media like This Week in Startups. <laughs> 